It's Monday. It's the crack of dawn. In fact, it... <laughs> that's the sound of a man up at the crack of dawn. It's, it's pre-crack, actually. We are in Knoxville, Tennessee, and we are going to Virginia today to, uh, to do more American things. Yay! Put some trousers on, please. <laughs> yes, yes, you may. I'm in such a good place. I'm in such a good place. I'm gonna wiggle like a pickle. I'm gonna wiggle like a pickle. Oh no, you can't use that. It's Paul McCartney in a Ooh. Virginia. Ooh, smell that air, lad. It's fresh. All sorts of vegan herbs in there, lad. <laughs> if you could draw the most idyllic setting in your mind, it would be this, wouldn't it? Sort of, I'm, I'm having like flashbacks from every time I've sort of felt this sense of adventure. You know what I mean? Every book, every, like, I don't know. Boy gets another convert. <laughs> so we just had dinner. Now I've come back to Sweet's Barn. See his horses. Oh, it's like it's a figure mouse. <laughs> oh, you can do it. <laughs> it's beautiful. Rock and roll, baby. How are you doing, mate? How are you doing? Hey? So now we're going in Swede's greenhouse, which is amazing. Hey. Flowers you can eat. Oh, quite. Actual flowers you can actually eat. Flowers you can smoke. Captain Green Fingers. Be this fly chaps or something? Uh, they're uh, called pitcher plant. And so they do the same thing, and, chop and, a fly in? And, well, uh, you fill them with water. Oh. Uh, well, they get water in them, and ants and bugs get down there. And they drown. You, you should be, yeah. You should be able to see them. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. But they're, they're, uh, what you would consider a carnivorous plant. I mean, they don't actually eat anything, but they digest the, uh, the so, uh, so not all plants are vegan. Greetings, comrades. It is um, Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. And I am in the Blue Ridge Mountains in Virginia. Just astonishing, it really is. Daniels has been out chopping wood all morning. I've been asleep. Pumpkin soup, I can see pumpkin soup around your mouth, boy. Hey, you want some pumpkin pie? Oh my God, has anyone ever told you got a pretty oh mouth, yeah, boy? boy. So keep that to yourself. So, it's past sundown. <laughs> We're walking back <laughs> home. <laughs> Damn torch went out of battery. <laughs> We're in bad country. <laughs> <laughs> the moon. Oh my yeah. god. We're walking through the Virginia woods with no torch and no gun. Is that I'm fucking shitting myself? Up there? Or is it there? I don't know. That's where we're supposed to be. I don't know what's pointing at me and what isn't. Wednesday, it's 4 a.m. We're getting a train at 6 a.m. Up to New York. Here it is. Carriage for the next eight hours. It is freezing here, is it not? So we're about four hours into an eight hour journey. We stopped off for a 45 minute break at Washington Station. 
the driver just spent a full five minutes, a full five minutes explaining that stop before this was not Washington. For the second time on the journey, it was, it was quite astonishing. How do you feel about that? I feel relieved that there's drivers out there that are making sure passengers aren't getting off at stations that are marked as not the station they're meant to be getting off at. So we made it to New York, it is here and there. We're now heading out to our first gig. Daniels has got the mother beer. He's a happy boy. Just spent about seven minutes trying to figure out how to get a ticket on the metro. New York, it's you suck. <laughs> yeah. you suck. It's more difficult than licking your own elbow. In addition to having a ticket machine system more complicated than algebra, there are no maps anywhere. We've just freestyled it over to the right platform. We're now definitely on the right platform. I'm not sure whether this is the right train, however. Uh, this is the right train. I'm absolutely 26% sure this is the right train. We're finally on the right train after the last right train decided to skip several stops on the track for no apparent reason. I am never looking disparagingly at a tourist that's confused in London ever again. I learned my lesson. So we're in the Norwood, which is a members club in um, Chelsea, New York. Of course, I've lost him again. I'll see you later. Good morning, comrades. It is the morning, a morning. I am in New York, of course. Just had to cancel on a breakfast meeting uh, because I've been stuck in an Uber for literally a whole actual hour in the worst traffic of all time. Um, my 3G has just ducked out, so I'm now trying to traverse my way through the mean streets of wherever this is, using my wits, my charm, my cunning, alone. So I'm just waiting for Daniels, who I believe has been in a meeting with a certain Mr. Tequila this morning. No sign of Daniels yet. I think his uh, meeting with Mr. Tequila must have run over. So uh, I'm going to go and get myself a green tea while I wait for further news. So Daniels didn't make it. His meeting with Mr. Tequila ran over so long that he's had to go to the pub. However, I am now on the 86th floor of the Empire State Building. And it's moving a little bit, I'm sure. So last gig of the tour, we are playing the Sidewalk Cafe tonight in the East Village. Too much pumpkin, you don't want to eat all the seeds. You want to save the seeds for pumpkin season. <laughs> Just don't die, all right? I won't die, mate. Take care, man. Love ya. So I'm on a plane, about to take off. And this is my new friend, Jonathan. Hi, internet. How are you doing? The only Jonathan the only... from Belgium that I've yeah. ever met. Just look for Rambling Fiddler, you will see. Rambling Fiddler? Yeah, that's it.
Oh, I know what's right I got just one life In the world that keeps on pushing me around When I stand my ground And I won't back down Want some pumpkin pie, boy? No more pumpkin pie You sure got a pretty mouth Got a pretty mouth, boy? You want to get that to yourself? Down, you.